Now, in this lecture, we're going to understand how to work with MongoDB Atlas. If you don't know about how to install MongoDB and work with locally, I have a dedicated video on it. Please check the link in the description. Once you watch that video and install the MongoDB, you just need to head on to mongodb.com and here you need to create a new account on MongoDB. So you just need to create a new account on MongoDB website. Just click on the try free and from here you just need to specify some information about you and create a new account. I already have that so I'm not going to create it again. MongoDB Atlas deploy the MongoDB in a cloud in just a few clicks. To see how to work with Atlas, just click on the sign in and specify your credential and sign in with the MongoDB Atlas. Once you sign in, you will have the window something like this. In this window, you need to first specify the project name which you want to create. So for example, let's say we are working on MongoDB and we want to create a to-do application. I can just simply create a new project here. So I'm going to click on this new project button and I'm going to specify name to my project. Here I'm going to specify name to this project to-do application. Just out of that, I'm going to click on this next button and just out of that, I'm not going to do anything here. Instead, I'm going to just leave everything as it is and click on this create project button. After a few seconds, MongoDB at last will create that project for you. You're going to have a folder here at the top left corner. Inside this project, you need to build a cluster. But let me first explain what is MongoDB Atlas. MongoDB Atlas is a global cloud database service for modern applications. Deploy fully managed MongoDB across AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So once you create a new project, you will have the window something like this. Here you can create or you can say here you can build a new cluster. Cluster is a word usually used for either replica set or a shared cluster. The main purpose of shared MongoDB is to scale read and write among multiple shared. Basically, a MongoDB cluster is going to split large data set into a small data set across multiple MongoDB instances. When you create a MongoDB database, MongoDB is going to create a simple instance of the database so you can access different documents. MongoDB is no SQL database. You don't have to create a table inside a MongoDB. You can just simply create a JSON object and inside that you can put your data. So let me go show you how you can create a cluster inside MongoDB Atlas. So I'm going to click on this button to build a cluster. Once you click on it, you will have three options here. I'm going to choose this third option, share cluster to create a free cluster in MongoDB. And that will open a new window and inside it, you can specify your cloud provider and a region. I'm going to use the cloud provider AWS. If you want, you can choose Google Cloud or Azure. That's upon you. I'm going to choose AWS here. I'm going to choose the region Mumbai. Just for that, here I have cluster tired. You don't have to change anything here. Just for that, we have the additional settings here. I'm not going to do anything here as well. And just down here, we can specify the name for your cluster. I'm going to specify name to this cluster and I'm going to say here to do cluster. Let me click on this create cluster to create this cluster in MongoDB Atlas. It will just take a few minutes to create this cluster in MongoDB Atlas. So after a few minutes, MongoDB Atlas will create a cluster and you will have the window something like this. Here on this window, you will have some information about your cluster. You will have the version, connect, matrix, collection button and here you have some information about your cluster. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this connect button. When you click on it, you will have the window something like this. Using this window, you can connect your MongoDB Atlas database to your project. You need to first add your IP address and then create a new user for the database. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close this window for now and I'm going to do the same thing using these options. So I'm going to just click on this network access button that will just open a new window. And here you can notice I'm going to have here IP address list. I'm going to add my IP here to access this database. I'm going to first click on this add IP address that will just open a new window. And I'm going to just click on this add current IP address. I don't want to show my IP address here. So instead of clicking on this button, I'm going to click on this allow access from anywhere. Once you click on it, it will just take few seconds to add the IP address in the MongoDB Atlas. Now I have active status here so I can move further and create a database access. So I'm going to just click on this tab database access and here I'm going to add a new user to access my database. So I'm going to just add here add new database user so I can access my database and here I'm going to choose the authentication method and here I'm going to specify the authentication of the user. So I'm going to say here admin a username and a password of the user. I'm going to simply say here admin 123. I'm going to specify a simple password to this user and just scroll down and here I'm going to click on this add user button. It will create a user that will have a rule read write any database. 
that's upon you you can specify any name to the username when you access the connection string of the mongodb database you need to pass this username and password to access the database so once you create your database user you can just head on to the cluster now from here you can access the connection string so i'm going to click on this connect button and when you click on the connect button you can notice you will have the window something like this and from here you can access the connection string of your mongodb database now here i have three options connect with mongo shell connect with application and connect using mongodb compass now mongodb compass is the graphical user interface to explore analyze and interact with the content stored in the mongodb database without knowing or using queries if you are not comfortable with making queries in mongodb you can use this compass graphical user interface don't worry you don't have to reuse this mongodb gui because i'm going to show you each and every step that will explain how to use mongodb in mongodb shell so you don't need this visual representation of the commands so for now i'm going to choose this first option connect with mongo shell when i start building my react application i'm going to choose this second option connect your application for now i'm going to choose this connect with mongo shell you can notice i have the option something like this select your operating system i'm going to choose the windows this is my operating system download the mongo shell i already have mongo shell installed in my local system so i'm not going to install it again i'm not going to do anything here because i already have mongodb installed in my local system so i'm just going to run the connection string in the command line now let me just open my command tool so i'm going to just simply open my git bash shell to work with this mongodb as i said i already have mongodb installed in my local system so i'm going to just paste that connection string here like this and as you know in this connection string i have the database name as well here you can notice my first database this is the name of this database i'm going to change this name so i'm going to just get it out this database name and i'm going to specify here to do database that's upon you you can specify any name to your database i'm going to press enter to create this database now when you press enter you will have the error something like this can't connect a new replica set master because the missing expected field pwd pwd means a password you know that we have here a username you need to pass password as well with this command so i'm going to just paste this connection string again and just out of this admin here i'm going to add space double dash then specify here password and specify my password here admin 123 i'm going to just press enter and connect this shell with the mongodb database as you can notice my bash is successfully connected to the mongodb database now let me check what we have inside the mongodb database now let me just execute a mongodb command db when i execute this command i'm going to have my database name to do database because this command is going to print the database you have inside your cluster once i have this database i can insert and update different records inside this database so in the next lecture i will show you how you can insert update and delete records in the mongodb database